Hello everybody, my name is Derek and in this video we are going to look at the Fibonacci number sequence on the spreadsheet and it's uh, extremely easy to put the number sequence on a spreadsheet. You need the uh, first two numbers in the uh, decimal uh, calculator. The first two or only digits in binary, that is 0 and 1. And what you do is you continuously add the two previous numbers on the cycle. So what I will do on cell A3 is put a formula, A1 equals A2, just that simple. And you're gonna get the answer one. But when we copy and paste this all the way down, what we're going to notice is that we have our Fibonacci number sequence. We'll uh, make the numbers look a little bit better by putting a thousand separator on here. We can format the cells. There's a thousand separator there. And voila, this is a really big number here as you can see. Nonetheless, what we're going to do now is uh, do some uh, mathematical formulas within these numbers. We have the number 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, so on and so on. And what we will do in the next uh, column is take cell A2 and divide it by A1. We'll continuously divide its newest number from its previous number. We'll do a copy and paste. We'll copy and paste a bunch of cells and well this is what we're getting. It seems as if dividing every number gets us a 1.62 increase, meaning if we divide 10,946 by 6765 it's going to come to 162. 987 divided by 610 the same. However, if you divide 13 by 8, it's going to be 1.6, and well, 5 divided by 3 is uh, 1.67, 3 divided by 2, 1.5, and so on. And we can make a little graph for these numbers, and it's a very interesting little graph that, that comes up. This is the graph. What we're seeing here is an interesting Fibonacci pattern that uh, is going to stay within us. What And what I mean by that is I'm going to show you the same uh, formula or the same chart with the cells down below in here because we have a low here, a high, and this high is always going to be lower, or sorry, this high is always going to be higher than this high, this will be higher than this, and this will be higher than this by a substantial percentage at that. Just as this low is higher than this low, this low is higher than this low, and Oftentimes in stock markets you will see a pattern of lower highs and higher lows and that doesn't last for that long but this one lasts for infinity basically. And as I copy and paste this uh, down below, what I'm going to do is change the, uh, the date, data range. What we'll do is we'll do cell say uh, 44 to 66 and what we're seeing when we do this is the uh, well, this didn't work out too well. It uh, might happen to do with the numbers. Look at that, we got 0 and 1.8, that's why. So what we'll do is we'll uh, change uh, the data range. Maybe uh, it can't handle those bigger uh, or tinier numbers, I guess. And there we go. This is cell 34 to uh, 54. Here we got uh, B34 to B56, which means from Fibonacci 3.5 million all the way up to uh, a big, huge, massive number in 139 billion. And we can see this high, this low, this high. And what, what's happening is these numbers are consistently uh, lower within this and higher within this. But, we've all, but I've been talking a lot about this 61.8% Fibonacci retracement in the stock market. And what we're going to do is uh, show you all these decimals and this is where the uh, 61 or 8 originates from. You got 61.8033988749990 and uh, this uh, represents what they call the golden ratio. It's also uh, the uh, 5 squared or the square root of 5. Uh, it's uh, plus 1 divided by 2 and that will get you 1.618 also, or 0.618. I, I was reading that earlier uh, yesterday. What we're gonna do now is uh, do the same thing that we did before, but instead of dividing cell two into one, we're gonna divide three into cell one, which is going to give us a divo again, meaning you can't divide by zero. 
And when we copy and paste this, uh, we're going to see that we have 2.62 now. And when we uh, look at the uh, formula for the cells or the numbers that uh, come with it, then, well, what we're getting is the exact same number, 61.8033988749. Exactly the same, and therefore we'll continue using this or doing this cycle, and we will take cell four divided by one. We get another div O. We're going to copy and paste this, and what we're getting here is the 424. Or if we uh, change the uh, decimal places on this number, also what we're going to get is a number of 4.2. Three six or twenty three point six zero six seven nine seven seven four nine nine eight. So if you wondered about the twenty three point six fib, voila, there it is. And we can keep doing this. And uh, what's going to happen is the numbers are going to uh, not resemble the twenty three six the uh, or the uh, sixty one eight anymore. It's going to this one's actually going to end in eighty five. It's push the paste in and 685. So when I did my uh, Dow Jones euphoric video, basically what uh, I did after the 423.6 was I wasn't sure what number to pick. I think I took the uh, 761 and I guess I should have took the 685 and as decimals are concerned, I guess uh, I would have to want to have the uh, the 685.41% retracement. Um, I guess that would be the next one for euphoric levels. But I thought that was a very interesting, interesting calculation. And what I'm going to do now is uh, do show you how to do the sum of all the Fibonacci numbers. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to uh, put in the uh, F column here is equals sum, and we're going to go sell A1 to A2, and it's going to come out as a number one. And what I need to do is put a dollar sign on cell A1 to A2. This will give you a running total. If you use the equals average, you can get a running average also. But uh, nonetheless, this is uh, what we'll do. And you know what? Just for fun, I'm going to put a running average on this. I don't know what I'm going to get. But uh, it, it should be interesting. Let me just uh, put in the formula. This is how you do a running average. Say we'll do the average here. And what we'll do is we'll put in cell F2 uh, in here and copy and paste and most likely it's uh, going to give us the uh, running average of what all of the numbers happen to be. And there we go. Whether, this mean, whether these running average mean anything, I have no idea. But I know the sums work within the Fibonacci because what we can do is we can take uh, a formula for equals this number, which is the sum of all Fibonacci's, and divide the sum of all Fibonacci's by its current Fib. And what we'll do is we'll copy and paste this all the way down, and there it is again. This 262 is what's going to come up. And, well, uh, maybe, just maybe, we will get that uh, same number on the... Uh, 61.8, uh, there you can see it here, 61.8033988, voila, there it is. And uh, if we take the running fib number of 2 and divide it by, say, the number uh, 1 here by its previous number, then uh, what will we end up getting? Would we get anything in the similar nature? Well, there's a 423. Very, very, very interesting how that comes into play. But it even goes a little deeper than that because uh, if you look at uh, how uh, these work within fractions, let me just put in the uh, more decimal places in here. And what we can see here is this is one and a half, and this is one and two thirds, one and three fifths, one and four five eighths and I don't know offhand what the uh, fraction is for 61.53846 but I would only guess that if we took a fraction all the way down you would have very interesting fraction sequence 
amongst uh, this Fibonacci. I would only be guessing anyway. So thank you all for watching this video and have yourself a magnificent day. Bye-bye, everyone.